Okay, we're continuing with force, section 2.2, .2, vector components. So, let's see here. Remember over here, we had force F1 and F2, and we used the parallelogram method to obtain a resultant force, or a vector sum R. Well, in the same way that we can um, add up these forces um, using vector addition, right, using the parallelogram method to get a vector sum, we can also do the reverse. If we have a vector sum R and we would like to know what are the components along those two lines, we can also use the parallelogram method. All we do is from the head of that vector sum parallel to the one axis until it cuts the other one, then that would be F1 and from the head parallel to that axis until it cuts that one and that would be that would be F2 that would be F1 okay so we can you need to also practice this uh, practice adding up the vectors to get a vector sum and practice if you've got a vector sum and you would like to determine what the components are along two notice here guys very important two uh, axes that are not perpendicular right so this is an important point here in this in this diagram over here I know it looks a bit confusing but okay focus just on this vector R okay and get its components along axes A and B and that's exactly what I just did you had R okay there's R and um, if we wanted right so there's axis A and there is oh my goodness okay just use your imagination Okay, this tablet's not so easy to, to write on. Okay, but there is B, axis B. Okay, <laughs> and there's A. All right, and so what we just did was we used the parallelogram method and we, and we found there was our F1 and parallel to there and there's our F2. Okay, now this is not the same as projecting R onto A. If you project R onto A, I'm so sorry, this tablet is very difficult to draw on, then you need a right angle there, and that is your projection of F onto A. Or rather, let's put it this way, R onto A. Okay? So that there would be the components of F1. Okay? Uh, the components of R in A, but FA is the projection. Don't confuse these two. There is the component F2, but there is the projection. Okay? So wh what does this mean? What does this mean? F1, if I've got this R, okay, and I need... I've got these two axes again and I need to apply a force in this direction and this direction and these two forces need to give me this resultant this vector sum then I apply F1 and F2 F1 in this direction and F2 in that direction will will give me this vector sum but it's not the same as projecting onto A and projecting onto B FA plus FB, FB plus FA is not equal to the vector R. Yeah, it's not. But F1 plus F2 is equal to R. Okay, so I think that's, sorry about this messy drawing, but I think that makes sense hopefully.